Hey guys, how you doing? It's Captech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today, I want to go over interview questions. So, like, these are questions that you'll be asked during the job interview. Um, I have someone that got a job in IT, actually, recently. And he got the job. So, I'm like, dude, girl, gal, whoever, send me your interview questions and I try to answer it to the best of my ability. The reason I do that is so I can help other people try to get a job in IT because they don't know what questions they're going to be asked. So this is a this is perfect for me to make a video on this. So um, Jeremiah got a job in IT. He he watched some of my videos and he watched another YouTuber's videos called Donish. And basically, he went to the job and he was more prepared for the job interview and he got the job. So a round of applause for him. I know his videos me quite clapping is really random. Especially there's no one else around here, no one around me. But yeah, when I post for him, he got a job, so I'm happy for him. So I'm here to answer your interview questions. Um, so if you're new to my channel, I do IT videos, I do CompTIA videos, talk about how to get into desktop support, tech support. Um, I also do live training as well, whereas a bunch of people are joining, we do hands-on training. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, that way you know when I go live. Because I, I do tend to go live here and there, and we do training and stuff like that. So let me answer the interview questions. He sent he sent me all the interview questions. I'm going to do part one of it today because there's too many questions and I cannot answer all of them in one video because it'll, it'll be too long of a video. So this is part one and then later on I'll make part two of this because there's a lot of questions. So and I'll put the screenshot right over here so you can see the questions, see what he was asked during the interview and obviously I'll, you know, you'll see you'll see the questions as I'm talking about it. So question number one um, Name three different antivirus programs. So I know there's McAfee, there's Norton Security, and then now there's um, um, people are using Silence. Um, some people use Kaprisky. So I guess that answers question number one. So these are just generic questions that he got asked, by the way. I, I'm just answering based on what he gave me. So uh, question number two. Name three different internet browsers. So three different internet browsers. There's Chrome, uh, there's Internet Explorer, and then there's Mozilla Firefox. Uh, question number three: Name different. Name three different VPN programs. So now there is Cisco AnyConnect. Um, there is um, Fort Fort I Net Fort Fort I Fort Client or Fort Net. I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. I used that before in my other job. Um, there is also um, Checkpoint Endpoint Connection. is a solution. It's a program that you use for VPN that uses RSA. Um, and um, that's it. That's that's three of them. I guess I can answer a few. Okay, Mobile Iron as well is another one. If you're familiar with Mobile Iron, that does have VPN on it, by the way. Um, okay, that's question number three. Question number four. What is a .ducx file? So that is a Word document. So that's the the extension for Word document. So if you go into your computer settings and basically you do show hidden files, it will tell you what kind of file it is. Um, obviously, you don't say that in the interview, but I'm saying you go into like show hidden files. It will show you if this is a Word document, whatever you know, what kind of file what type extension it is. It will show you what that is. Um, question number five, I think one, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Uh, dot. What is a dot pptx file? So that is a PowerPoint. That's PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint. That's basically what that is. Um, question number six. What is a .xlsx file? That is Excel. So if you're using Excel 2016, that would be Excel. So all of these are Microsoft Office products. So .xlsx is Excel. .pptx is PowerPoint. .docs or D-U-C-X is Word. What is malware? Malware is um, malware could be ransomware, adware, Trojans. Basically, they get into your computer. They slow down your computer. And basically, they, they do ransomware as well. And basically, they take information and data from your computer, and somehow they manipulate it. And then they 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 ask you for money, or they hack your account, and they steal all your information. Basically, that's basically what malware is in a nutshell. I, mean, I can go in depth, but I'm not going to go in depth in this video. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So, was malware's question number seven? Question number eight: uh, What ticketing system have you used? I have used Jira. I have used ServiceNow. I have used um, uh, Sir, uh, Jira ServiceNow, um, Freshdesk. Um, I use uh, SolarWinds, and that's it. I have a few more other ones, but those are the ones that I use. 
Um, how would you, question number nine, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, question number nine, how would you install an add-in on an internet browser? So it depends on the internet, like, like Chrome or IE, I got, that, would, that would be the question I would ask. So if it's Chrome, if you go to the top right-hand side, you literally click the top right-hand side, you click the little three lines, and you scroll all the way down till you see extensions, you click on our add-ins, and you click on add-ins, you hit extensions, and then you could uncheck and recheck the add-in. But then, if it's not there, you have to go to the bottom left-hand side under that tab, and actually click on the Play Store. Click on the Play Store, and then you type Zoom or whatever plugin you want. You hit install, and then it'll add it for you. And it'll, it'll show up on the top right-hand side as, as a tab or an add-in. And literally, if you want to remove it, or you want to disable it, or temporarily remove it, you just click on it, and you hit remove. You want to check it and recheck it, if that makes sense. All right, so next question. Uh, how would a user change their password? So that's that that depends on the environment. So are, are they doing it on VPN? Are they doing it on a computer while being in the office? But typically, a normal password reset. You know, it's basically you do Control Alt Delete, and then you you hit the change password, and then and obviously it will ask you to change your password. So you put the old password, whatever your old password is, and then you put the new password. And it also depends on your company policy. So you can't use your you can't use your name. You can't use you can't use your name. You can't use the password you used before previously, and you have to make it special characters. And it has to be either uh, depending on the complexity of the company, it has to be eight characters, twelve characters, fourteen characters, sixteen characters with special letters and numbers. And then um, you put the password you put the password on. So it has a little box. You put the username. You put the the username is already there. You put your old password. Then on the bottom, you confirm the new password and you confirm it again. So you put the new password, you confirm it again, you hit OK, and then it, 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 it talks to the domain, talks to the domain controller, and then boom, changes the password. Password has been changed. And then obviously when you change this password, just don't, 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 don't forget, but whenever you change your password on a computer, if you have multiple devices, don't forget to change it on the other devices. So he changed it on his computer. Do you have a tablet? Do you have an iPhone? Do you, do, you, do you log into another desktop? Do you have another laptop? So these are the things you need to question when you're changing a password. Yes, I do. So then you have to change the password on all those other devices. Once you do that, once you update the password on all the other devices, then you're good to go. And then you might you may have encounter or you might encounter an issue where the old password is sync on credential manager. So you have to go into the bottom left hand side on the start menu, the white logo, click on it. Um, type control panel or type credential manager change the icon to small or large whatever and click on credential manager see if there's any password like like sometimes the passwords linger on credential manager so you have to remove that then have them open outlook and then they're good to go after that so because sometimes what happens is the password gets stuck on microsoft outlook and then the pa the old password store there and then they start having these these issues where the there's a box that prompt that prompts it for a password they put it in hit ok it doesn't do anything. Then it prompts them again. They have password. They put it in, and it comes back again. And it locks them out. And then they're like, why does it keep getting? Why do they keep getting locked out? Like, did you change your password? Yeah, I did. Okay. Did you delete? Did we delete it from credential manager? Probably not. Okay. So that's 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 the approach I would answer this question. So I'm like, okay. So I change their password. Um, I can do control delete. Change their password. Ask them if they have any other devices. They they, they if they don't, we're good. If they do it. They change it on everything. Make sure I check credential manager as well, just in case they have any password lingered or stored on the computer. Delete that, remove that, and then you're good to go after that. Hopefully that answers your question. So, next question. A user calls in and saying that their internet browser will not open in a specific website, but can open in other websites. How would you resolve this issue? So, it, it, they can open other websites and not a specific website. First thing I want to know, uh, has this ever worked before? This is, is this the first time you're going into this website or you used this website before? Like, yes, I have used this website before. Okay, good. Can you open it in another web browser? So if, if they're using IE, right? It doesn't work. Can, does it open on Chrome? Yes, it opens on Chrome. Okay, so this sounds like a, like a cache cookies and browser history issue. So I need you to go into the top right-hand side, click the little gear, click that gear, click Internet Options, and then click Delete. And you hit delete history, and then delete history, and then delete cookies and cache and history. Hit OK, hit OK, OK, and then it'll delete all that. And then try going back to that website. Does it work? Yes, it does. All right, and you're good to go. And that's how I would answer that question. 
So if you don't if you don't do that, if you don't clear their browser history, then they'll start having a bunch of problems because it just stores information and data on the on the web browser. But that's but that's about it. That's how I would answer that question. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And um, hopefully this answers your questions on IT interview questions. And obviously I'm going to make another video. This is just part one of this because he gave me a bunch of questions that he was asked during the job interview. So you'll see more videos from me. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. And thanks for watching. Okay? Take care. Peace. Later.